Hi friends, this is Plant Lover Neil and you are watching Plant Smiler. In this video, we will see how to transplant tiny seedlings that have been grown in a shallow pot without using a seed tray. I will show you step by step the entire process so that you can also follow it and you can transplant your tiny seedlings without killing them. I will be doing this in a very harsh climate. We have got at present around 45 degrees centigrade maximum temperature that is around 113 degrees Fahrenheit. In such harsh climate, the only plant that we can grow is amaranth. I will be showing the transplantation of my amaranth seedlings, but you can follow the same process on a different plant also. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay friends, we are at my terrace garden. Now let's look at the seedlings which we'll be transplanting. Here they are. You can see this container we I have made on my own. This is a DIY planter. I made a video of how I made it. You can check that out. These are basically amaranth seedlings. These are the only seedlings that have survived. There were several more seedlings. Most of them are starting to dry off. You can see over here. The reason for that is because of this very bad climate we are having. We are having a heat wave condition. Today it was 44 degrees centigrade. Tomorrow it has been projected that it will reach 45 degrees. So still this plant is still surviving. I guess these are the only seedlings which can survive such harsh climate. See one of them have grown quite nicely. These are one month old seedlings by the way. They have not grown that much because of the heat stress condition. But anyway, we will now be transplanting them in a bigger container. I will moisten the soil so that roots are completely moist and I am, be, I am transplanting it in the evening time. So there will be 12 hours of cool time. Newly transplanted seedlings will not get stressed out. So that is the plan. Let's see how, what is the success rate of this transplantation. So let's first moisten it. I am using this spray bottle. Which this is again a DIY spray bottle. I have also made a video of how you can make this. This is quite simple. It's quite easy to water small seedlings using this spray bottle. Okay, that is good enough. Okay, now let's look at the place where we'll be transplanting. I'll be adding them over there in that container. You can see over there. So let's first take these containers. They're quite heavy because they're solid cement planters. Bring these two in. Okay, so as you can see over here, there are already a couple of seedlings. These are planted directly in over here, but not many came up. We'll be transplanting them in rows. So let's say we'll make two rows over here, like this. One row over here, one row over here, and over here also two rows. That way, so let's first plan it out like this. Okay. This is one, two. Now to take these seedlings out, I'll be using this spoon basically, it's a small spoon. So we'll ensure that we get a root ball out without much disturbing the root. So basically what I'll do is you can see over here. This is the seedling. So take some distance gap and insert it completely down like that and then push it up slowly like this. You can see. And, or circle it if it's not coming out completely. Circle it and then push it back here. Yeah. Then try to hold it in this. There. You've got one out. Now we place it over here. Like this. Make sure to form the soil up so that it doesn't break up all that. So and that is our first transplant. We'll do again the same thing. You see over here, this. So 
you can see we have transplanted one two three four five let's keep doing this okay so we have created one row you can see over here this is one row second row over here also one two so i guess these many plants will be good enough the rest i'll transplant it in a different container now using these milk packets i will be mulching them so basically the role of a mulch is to prevent water loss and these milk packets being white in color they will also reflect the sunlight that will be falling on the soil surface so it will reduce the temperature of the soil so the two two purposes it will serve these milk packets are created as a seedling container but in this very hot climate you cannot grow seedlings in such small containers because of the heat so i'll be repurposing them as mulch you can use dried leaves or twigs anything which does not decompose that quickly can be used and since plastic does not decompose at all they can be certainly be used i have been using this in another amaranth planter and i have seen very nice results previously without these plastic milk packet mulch the plants used to get dehydrated completely in the peak noon time but after adding the mulch i have seen almost 80% reduction in the wilt that's how effective these mulches are help in retaining the moisture in the soil as well as reducing the soil temperature this is one more way of recycling these milk packets just have to make it in a flat surface so that I form a sheet okay. so I'll show you how to add these basically since the seedlings are so close together we'll be wrapping this like this and then we'll add it like this this will be one okay similarly lay it wherever there is open soil and you need not worry that they'll fly out or something like that because we'll be watering it so it will become a bit heavy that will prevent it from flying out Okay, yes. you can tuck it, tuck them in the sides like this to get more support like this. Over here also I'll tuck them in the sides so that they don't move around. Yes, okay. We create multiple layers so that the moisture will get trapped. nicely and once the plants grow taller you can add more mulch because that in the time it will be easier to place because the stem the leaves will go up now the leaves are obstructed i think that much is good enough for now now we will water it thoroughly Is good enough. Let the water soak in. Seedlings have fallen. Just gently push them up. Okay. Same thing I'll do over here. Okay, friends, we are back at my terrace garden. Now let's see after 24 hours what is the condition of the transplanted seedlings. So let's head to the place over there. And here we are. And voila. We have got several successful seedlings. They have survived the entire night and the fierce heat of the daytime. Today it was again 44 degrees centigrade. And there you go. One, two, three. We have one failure over here, you can see. This one did not make it. But we have got several excess seedlings which we'll be replacing it with over here. Okay, that's quite good. Now let's look at over here. And you can see this survived, this did not, this also did not, this also did not, this also did not. So in this pot quite a lot of them did not succeed. This big one succeeded quite nicely. 
in these seedlings, I was not able to get the seedlings with the soil intact. So I think that was the reason for this failure. So that's how we learn. Next time onwards, whenever we remove the tiny seedlings, we make sure to keep a little bit of soil there. So we'll be replacing all of these with the seedlings which we have got over there. So let's do that right now. Okay friends, now we'll again water it out. Yes. So that is the way to transplant amaranth seedlings or for that matter any seedlings. If you like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. On Plant Smell Up, you'll find several tips and tricks, gardening guides and much more. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching friends. See you later. Bye bye.